Greetings, and thanks for joining me for another episode of your favorite library-centric video game hype show, Free Play. I'm your host, Leah, and I have a great trio of titles for your viewing pleasure. Let's start off with an old character in a brand new game. Here's Bubsy, Paul's on fire. Bubsy the Bobcat looks pretty good for a 26-year-old platformer star with five titles under his belt. Wait, actually, can I rewind that? He doesn't wear pants. Anyway, Bubsy's been around since 1993 when he made his debut in Claws Encounters of the Furred Kind for the Super Nintendo. Years and sequels later, our feline protagonist with a penchant for puns is back and ready to collect all of the yarn balls in Paws on Fire. Bubsy has left behind his traditional platformer gameplay for a more refined auto-runner style. He and his friends each have their own stages designed for their unique playstyles. Bubsy can jump and glide through the air and tackle foes as he's sprinting across the world. His friend Virgil can double jump extra high and slide extra low to dodge obstacles. His other friend Wooly flies around in a UFO equipped with a laser blaster. Collect the three pieces of medallion hidden in each stage and you'll unlock a bonus level starring Arnold the Armadillo, who rolls around collecting green gemstones in a style reminiscent of the Chaos Emerald bonus rounds in Sega's Sonic and Knuckles. Currencies collected by Bubsy and his troop can be exchanged in the shoppery for new outfits to customize our runners. The pricing is pretty well paced. Play a couple of stages with the goal of collecting all 150 items, and you'll soon be able to afford some new clothing swaps. Bubsy Paws on Fire is a great game for inexperienced or younger gamers looking to learn about the platforming genre, or for older gamers who enjoy nostalgia in their gaming experiences. It's rated E and is available on the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and Windows platforms. An internet connection is not required to play. As cute and bouncy as Bubsy is, let's change tones and check out Greedfall, a new original title that blends magic and fantasy with a 17th century historical motif. Greedfall is an action role-playing game centered around the colonization of a newly discovered magical island called Tier Fridi. Players assume the role of Des Sardes, a noble of the Merchants Guild who has been ordered to sail from the port city of Selene to aid in the establishment of a colony to be governed by Des Sardes' cousin Constantine. However, Des Sardes and their family are suffering from a sickness known as the Malachor, and the native inhabitants of Tier for Day don't take kindly to the arrival of plague-touched invaders. Players create their own version of Des Sardes by customizing their looks and playstyle. At the onset, Des Sardes is capable of using heavier bladed weapons, flintlock pistols, or trinkets imbued with magical power. With progression comes stat and attribute increases to improve Des Sardes' combat, conversation, and navigation abilities. Put points into lockpicking and you won't have to look around for hidden keys or sneak your way into off-limits areas. Points in diplomacy enable Des Sardes to talk their way through even the toughest predicaments. And points in combat, magic, and arms let them cut foes down before they even pose a threat. While not fully open world, the map in Greedfall is highly explorable and boasts tons of treasures to loot and side quests to complete. If you're into adventure games with robust control and character development, the gameplay and narrative Greedfall offers could be perfect for you. There's a lot to like here for folks who enjoy The Elder Scrolls, The Witcher, or the most recent Assassin's Creed games. Greedfall is rated M and is available for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and Windows platforms. An internet connection is not required to play. Not trying to talk or elegantly duel your way out of sticky situations? I think the complete and total anarchy that is life on Pandora will be more your speed. I present to thee Borderlands 3. There was a lot of hype surrounding Borderlands 3 prior to its release in September. Its predecessor, Borderlands 2, and the subsequent Handsome Jack collection pioneered the marriage of the shooter and looter genres, and Pandora has served as a playground for millions of players looking to take up the mantle of Vault Hunter and venture out in search of mayhem and treasure. This newest Borderlands feels like more of what made the second game a classic, with some great quality of life improvements and modernizations based on other games that have drawn from the series for inspiration. In Borderlands 3, players control one of four Vault Hunters. There's the Gunner, the Operative, the Beastmaster, and the Siren. Each character has three skill trees filled with passive abilities, melee modifiers, and customizable special moves that can be mixed and matched to create wildly different gameplay experiences. Take the Siren, for example. Like sniping? Try phase-locking a bad guy for a real easy target. 
more of the up and close and personal type like me, grab a shotgun and invest into the brawler tree for a body slam special move and bonus damage depending on how close you're standing to your foes. Character builds can be balanced or defined by tons and tons of weapons, shields, grenades, and class mods that all have unique mechanics and differences to ensure no two pieces of gear are the same. Loot comes in really handy as you chase the evil Calypso twins across the Borderlands galaxy in an effort to stop them from unsealing the Great Vault and awakening a monster that caused the downfall of the great Iridian species. With the help of some old and new NPC friends, and three additional IRL friends if you're into online co-op, you'll shoot and loot your way through the story mode and choose to either restart the game on true Vault Hunter mode to rebalance the game based on your Vault Hunter's current level, or enable Mayhem mode to grant all kinds of modifiers to your friends and foes for an even more chaotic experience. If you're a fan of the Borderlands series, or you enjoy other loot-based shooters like Destiny, Warframe, or The Division 2, Borderlands 3 is a must-play. It's also worth checking out if you like first-person shooters like Rage 2, or you enjoy games with memorable characters or unique art styles. Borderlands 3 is rated M and is available for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Windows platforms, Mac OS, and the upcoming Google Stadia console. An internet connection is not required to play, but you'll need one to go online and play cooperatively with other Vault Hunters. This show is seriously one of the best parts of my job. Talking about cool games the library has available to check out and borrow for free? Absolutely! These titles and many, many more are listed in our catalog at bcpl.info. Find something new to play, place a request, and we'll send it to a branch of your choice to be picked up ASAP. That's it for this episode of Free Play. See you next time with another trio of titles I know you'll enjoy.